So with this little cup, um, it's very similar to a cylinder, but it's a real uh, you know, useful object so that you might find in an, a drawing or a painting. You can do the same thing. Um, we'll just take, um, let's start with the vertical line, closing your right eye, measuring from top to bottom, way over here, making our points, drawing the vertical, measuring the width. This looks very different from the camera angle, I know, but <clears throat> where that horizontal is and measuring how far down. A clear ruler is nice because you can figure your angle, measure down from that. Hopefully the dividers are not moving. Make your point in the middle. Make your oval. I'm not turning my paper, which is why it's awkward. I'm doing this quickly. This top would be very similar here, where I can make, make our horizontal. Same thing. Here's our horizontal. Actually in front. Down. Same. So then we have a little handle which makes this different. And it comes, it's going to look very different again from the camera, but I can measure from this edge down to where it starts. Just see how long this little line is, where that handle starts. Closing my right eye. It like also helps if you can brace your hand on something so you don't wiggle too much. So it's, kind of, it's starting here. From where I see it, it comes in a little bit and down a little bit. So I can measure from here down to see how big that is. And I can measure, I know this comes in a little bit, it also comes out a little bit. I can measure from here to here. You may not see this at all, but I can, it, the handle does not come to the top edge here, to this vertical. It's lower down, and I can measure, like visually, like extend this line out, do it here, and then measure from this vertical line, which I indicate here. This was a vertical line coming out like this. And I'm just doing it visually in front of me. I'm going to measure from here down to where the top of this handle is, and then I can measure how far out that is and know where this point would be. So I'm going to hold that up to where I see those two edges. And then open my little divider and measure that space. And it's about that far down. So I can measure that. And then we're going to figure out how far it is from this point in. So we'll measure that. It's 
out that far in. So we're going here and up. So this would be here. And it curves. Then we're going to measure from here out. It sticks out quite a bit. furthest point that the handle sticks out to there. And it's a gentle curve. I can also measure from the bottom up. Where does that handle come in? So from the bottom up, and it's in ever so slightly. Down there it doesn't really come in much, but it sticks out the same. And this is a gentle curve. I can measure where this leaves from here to where that handle leaves the side of the cup. Closing my eye again. Oh, that can't be right. No, it's not. And this is that underside. So it's leaving the cup here. We want to know how fat that is. Oops, not good to move your setup. Okay. So it's about that thick. It's kind of like a question mark. And it's about that all the way around. So there's our basic little espresso cup. And you can also measure, okay, how much, how fat is this little edge, uh, an oval edge. This is the outside of the cup. And this is the inside of this edge. So this actually has some thickness. So this goes like this, if you look at it. I was measuring the inside, that darkest edge. So this has an, a little, um, this is like where the highlight would be if we were shading this in. And actually the light is hitting here, so it's like that's where the lightest area would be. This is the inside. And this skirt curves like this. So these little details you can add later. At the first you just want the basic dimensions, and then you have a little cup shape. Then of course you if you were finishing this as a little drawing or in a painting you'd be paying attention to lighting, which I have this similar where this is then dark in here. This is darker here. idea.